Hey YouTube, it's JFO. Welcome to your Star Vibes video this week. And I wanted to kind of just dive in to my story a little bit on why I became an entrepreneur. And then we're gonna talk about sales. Yeah. So my background is I popped out of the womb <laughs> singing and dancing. And I told my parents, my name is Holly. Hollywood and I and I truly believed that I was gonna be you know this huge famous star on the red carpet star vibes but what I realized slowly was that I hated the day job right like as an actress you always have like your waiting tables job and your temp job and then you're going off to the auditions and I hated that I hated that that um idea of having no security and so for me, like the first initial intention to become an entrepreneur was I want to be able to control my security, right? And so obviously there was that piece to it. But then the other piece to it was that I was this spiritual teacher and I had these spiritual gifts I wanted to share. And then of course, bring in, you know, my background in music theater and, you know, I want to bring the comedy. I want to bring the entertainment. That's why I have a YouTube channel. And so I started to think to myself, what if I could, you know, make my own success and build my own business. And that's when I got into the online marketing world and kind of geeked out on funnels and the automation of a funnel and how to bring someone through from an opt-in to a free value gift into an offer. Um, and that really enticed me and excited me. And then I gained so much weight trying to build my business. I was up against all my limiting beliefs and that is when I found my current company, which is a network marketing company. And I ended up losing 50% of the weight, close, a little over that 50% of the weight and working on my mindset, right? Because that was one of the vital behaviors of the business that I'm in is to work on personal development. And so I got into network marketing and I really learned kind of the manual experience of building connections and building relationships and really getting out into the marketplace and deciding how do I want to serve? How do I want to help people? And how do I want to give value? Now, along my journey, I've still had to find, you know, some type of bridge job or, you know, have some type of stability. And so I've also been in the marketplace for a job, looking for a job, creating your resume, doing interviews. And, and what I learned from all of this is that it doesn't actually matter if you're an entrepreneur or if you're an employee or, you know, you're doing your, even if you're honestly, even if you're a stay at home mom, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, there's one thing that connects all of that. Even dating, guys, you have to sell yourself, right? And so when I started to get into specifically network marketing, I just was like, no, I don't wanna do this. I don't, I'm not a salesperson. I don't wanna sell, right? Like the minute you hear the word sales, you just wanna cringe. It's like, oh, I don't wanna sell anything, right? But what I realized is that when I was a customer support manager, I had to sell all day long. I had to sell the customer into making them feel supported. I had to sell you know, the people that I was managing into feeling supported. I had to constantly um, entice and inspire and motivate people to do what I needed them to do, right? And even when I was in the job market looking for a job, I had to sell myself and my experience and my um, abilities and skills, right? And so I still slowly started to realize Oh, everything in life is a sale, everything. And the reason is because sales, all it is, my friends, is it's relationships. So if you're on a mountaintop right now and you're a Buddha and you have no one there and you're just going to meditate for the rest of your life, yes, you don't have to sell. You're good. You're good to go. <laughs> but if you're living in the real world, okay? You and your, you have relationships in your life, you have to sell. You have to sell your husband or your spouse on the idea of going out for date night on Friday. You have to sell the idea of eating asparagus to your five-year-old, right? Like you are constantly in the process of selling. You just don't realize it, okay? So if you're someone who has a big mission and a big vision for something that you want to build from an entrepreneurial perspective or you want to build some type of brand online and you want to be a star, in the movie of your life and actually monetize your mission, like I do, right? If you wanna do that, you have to start getting excited and comfortable with the idea of sales. And I'm really gonna help you in this short video today really position what that is for you. So selling is actually sharing. 
Selling is giving value. It's a value exchange. Okay. So when you think of, oh my God, like when you think of selling, you think of a cold call to a random person who doesn't know you and saying, today we're offering a limited time only. Da, 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 and it's just cringeworthy, right? You just want to immediately hang up. That's because there was no value exchange. There was no true value exchange. There was no true um, sharing, right? True selling is actually building connections, building relationships, and seeing how you can offer your skills and value to someone. It's the same if you're looking for a job. It's a value exchange, okay? So everything having to do with money is a value exchange. It's saying, I'm going to um, give you this incredible result, and in exchange, you're gonna, you're gonna pay me this amount of money, right? And so if you start to position selling from that perspective, I'm telling you, the, the door is open wide and you, you start to get excited at this idea of having a pipeline, right? So for me, when I started to realize, oh, this is just being social. This is just me going out into the world, making connections, being my bubbly self, giving people free value, giving people, um, you know, support, right? Like, cause you can give free value just by talking to someone, right? You can just give someone advice or give someone a, a helping hand. You know, free value doesn't have to be this huge fancy schmancy, you know, three part video series that you have a funnel and this, and you know, we make it so complicated, right? It's just serving someone and literally being authentic, being authentic as you connect with people out in the world. Another piece that is really important to know about this concept that everything is a sale and it's something that I'm learning, I'm really, really learning, is that you have to intuitively feel into someone's energy. You really need to feel into their energy and feel, you know, are they ready for this? Are they ready, you know, for what I'm about to share with them? Maybe they're not, you know, maybe they're going through something really traumatic right now and all they're ready for is my support and helping them with that, right? So that's another piece to this is like really leading with the, the true intention of wanting to help someone, right? Because when you come from this icky place of my bottom line is I want you to buy this thing and I really don't care about you, then it is a sale, right? And I want you to think about when you go to like a restaurant, okay? JPO is not very good with customer support. The irony is I used to do customer support when I was in the corporate worlds and the startup worlds. And I am like probably the worst person to get on the phone. If you've messed up your customer support experience, I will let you know it. I will let you know it. So think about when you're at a restaurant, okay? And the waitress comes over and they're in the shittiest mood. Sorry, I'm cursing, but this is what we do here on the JFO show. They're in the shittiest mood and they're just like, here's menus, here's some drinks. Like you're gonna be immediately pissed. Like you're like anything that they're doing for you in that experience is just gonna bother you right? It's the same if you um, go into like an actual like, you know, retail store and you want to buy something, two things that w would annoy you. One is the, the the person who's constantly up in your grill and is like, do you need anything? Do you want this shirt? Da, da, da. And they're like, too much. You know what I mean? Or you go into a store and, and you have like loads of clothes in your hand and no one's helping you, right? So understand how you how you like to receive that value because you're out in the marketplace looking for solutions. Think about it. Think about how you're in the marketplace needing things, right? And you're just praying, praying to God, I, oh my God, help me find the solution. And for the right price point, you might be just like freaking out that you found something so magical, right? So think about that, that kind of clicking of the win-win where it's the customer really needing a solution, really needing a result, and has the money to spend for it or has like a limited budget to spend for it and you come along with this amazing result um, that you can show them with the, with the solution and it's in the, in the right price price point, bada bing, bada boom, you're in business, right? Bada bing, bada boom. So you kind of have to test it. You gotta test it and I think there's a future video in one of these weeks that I'm, do, I'm doing that. So we'll talk about that in a future Star Vibes video. But just understand, that you need to, number one, recognize that everything is a sale. Number two, recognize that all sales is, is it's relationships. That's it. It's just the marketplace, okay? It's just the marketplace. Whether you're bartering, whether you're just buying your coffee in the morning, you are going somewhere, you are giving someone money, and you are getting a result. <coughs> that coffee, that coffee that you want. <laughs> Babe, we're talking about selling. <laughs> um, so everything's a sale. Selling is relationships. 
It's truly just very simple, a value exchange. If you are confident in your value and you know that you truly want to help people and you really do have a solution or a result for someone that people really need, you're good. You're in business. But you got to get out there and you got to make connections and you've really got to feel into the energy of people, knowing what they need and asking questions, getting curious um, and just really going for it. Right. Help people. That's what sales is. It's helping people, whether you automate the sale or you manually do the sale. That's what it is. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. And just so you know, from an astrological perspective, I'll add this in. Gemini is the salesman of the Zodiac, right? So a lot of people that have strong Gemini in their chart or they have strong Taurus or Aries or Gemini, those survival stage signs, they're usually really, really good at the sale. They're really good at it, okay? That doesn't mean that other signs of the Zodiac aren't good at it. It just means that it's the Geminis that are really the marketers of the Zodiac. But sometimes it's the Geminis, and and I don't mean actual Geminis, I mean the Gemini energy. Sometimes it's the Gemini energy that can come off too salesy, right? Sometimes we want the opposite of that, which is that Sagittarius energy that has no filter. Maybe they're not presenting it perfectly, but they're authentic. And so another thing you need to recognize when it comes to sales and and creating a business is that it's a balance. It's a balance of that kind of witty, charming presentation meeting the authenticity and the storytelling, right? Stories sell when you really think about it. So you want to balance out that energy when you're in these in in the marketplace, in these connections and and working on selling that incredible, amazing star value that you have to offer in the world. Okay? So, I hope you enjoy this video. Catch you tomorrow.